Hi everyone, uh, this is Sandeep here and uh, in today's tutorial we're going to work on um, a basic, uh, very very basic shape on uh, of uh, a flat drawing. So we'll try to draw a bodice and add few stitch lines and then maybe uh, work on it on few basic levels. Uh, in the next uh, video we'll also work on something which would be of uh, let's say a a uh, hanger, hanger appeal kind of a flat drawing. That will be our second video. Uh, so let's start with the first video. And uh, here we uh, we, we uh, start with the with the file new. And this is the uh, mm, this is the file new uh, uh, new document uh, window where you can uh, what I'll be selecting right now or is a basic A4 sheet or A3 whatever you can choose. And let's get started from here. So I'm going to name it as a basic flat drawing. As you can see, this is your artwork. Uh, artwork, sorry, artboard. Um, so I'm assuming that you already know this, the pen tool, uh, and uh, you know how it works. It's a little sticky. Uh, kind of a tool, but uh, you, you'll have to you'll have to always actually try it your hands on, and only then you'll be able to understand its pros and cons. So yeah, so let's begin. Um, I'm going to start from the shoulder point. You can start from anywhere you like. So the shoulder point, and then on the let's say the center front of the neck. I'm going to use the shift key so that you know. Uh, I have this alignment as either perfectly horizontal or perfectly 45 degrees or vertical. So it's, it, it gives me a good alignment here. So uh, shift key to give me this 90 degree. As you know, on a pattern, uh, you always need a 90 degree on this little area. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to click on this anchor point so that I can kill this curve handle so that I get a pointed a corner and then I can take a vertical line down there so I'm going to click this so now you can see that the uh, that the curve handle is gone and from here I'm just going to press shift again so let's say about this much and then the hem and let's say a little curve here inwards and outwards Let's say about this much, and there and there. Okay, so this is almost uh, the shape that I was thinking I want. Now, uh, remember to use a few um, a few keyboard shortcuts. Always use your left hand on the keyboard. That's really important. So, uh, as you know, uh, uh, if you use the space bar and if you, so I'm, I've pressed the space bar, you can see the hand, I can move around. So this is how we're going to use to navigate. We're not going to use these tabs. These are not supposed to be used. If, if, you, if you want to be faster at work, if you want to be efficient and then you want to finish your work quickly, quickly use the, spacebar um, to zoom in and zoom out command plus control or control plus and you can zoom in and zoom out remember that when you're working on a good quality work you always should zoom in and work so that you get your lines clear and your points everything perfectly done now what I'm going to do next is I want to um, I want to copy this armhole so what I'll do I'll just select from the outside I'll click and drag and make a selection so if you see that this anchor point is selected but not these because these are white so these are not selected the blue one is selected and I'm going to press ctrl C and ctrl F remember ctrl F for uh, it, it's going to paste right at the same place and in front so and if I use the arrow button I'm just going to drag it outside so if you can see the the curve has been copied 
separately. Now I can, um, what I can do is take the pen tool and join the points from there. So as, as, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's going to be a very basic kind of a shape. So I'm just going to take a few straight lines to just connect and then my sleeve is done and which is actually matching with the armhole. So this is how you can actually work on it. Now do the same as if you remember, I've already copied it. So control C is done on the, on the armhole. But anyways, let's forget that. And uh, now again, I'm now what I'll do is I'll just hover around this curve and I'll find the anchor. So this is the anchor point, which means the lines which is on both sides of the anchor point is selected. So again, control C, control F. And then I just move it a little to the left. Now what is happening, there is this, there is this gap. This is because you, uh, uh, there's a white fill on this. How do you remove the white fill? You go to this fill box and just click on none. So your fill is gone and now it is all just only lines. Now with the white arrow, just pull it down and pull it down from here so that you get a, a little parallel kind of a, this thing line. Now select and go to window stroke. So there you get stroke. You can see the shortcut is uh, command F10 or for windows it will be con control F10. And this is your stroke uh, stroke panel. Uh, what you can do now is just click on the dash and then you can give it a value. So a good standard value would be three, the dash point uh, and then gap you can have it one or two whatever you like I can I, I prefer to give it one so that's what you get let's let's say if it was two then two would become some somewhere like this so this is also fine for me I'm, I'm cool with both <sighs> so that becomes more or less the most basic flat drawing now you can even copy the sleeve hem and control C control F I'm going to move it with the arrow buttons and let's say I want it there. Now, if you ever want to copy, so uh, there, there's this stitch line which is already there. And if you want to copy the same property of an existing vector, what you can do is you can select your vector and you have this eyedropper, this one, or you can just press I. If you see the shortcut is I, eyedropper tool, I. So you'll get this little icon and then you can just click on an existing vector and it'll copy the same character. So there you go. Um, you have this flat uh, on fold like half of half of it done. Uh, while while you're creating this thing, if you feel that uh, the, the, the proportion is somewhat not really right, you can also do you can also adjust them, you know, uh, just by selecting with the white arrow. Maybe you can. So if you can see, I've made this box. Whatever anchor points that comes in this box is going to be selected. So if you see, these blue ones are all selected while these white ones are not selected. This is not, this is not selected. The blue ones are selected. Now just uh, use the arrow button. I'm just going to use the arrow button here so that my alignment is fine. So I'm just moving. Um, we just, I'm just moving horizontally to the left and I don't know maybe I'm just going to take the shoulder a little there right so uh, this is something that I am looking for at the moment now from here what you can also do is um, the next thing that most most of us are curious to do is make another copy on the left so so the the next tool is called reflect you'll find it on this panel so uh, I forgot to tell you uh, most of these tools in the toolbar they have these little arrows if you can see so what it means is if you click and hold you will have all these extra options there 
similarly on the pen tool you have these pen minus plus we'll we'll discuss on that later um so yeah on the on the on this icon that you can see if you click you'll find rotate and reflect so your tool at the moment is reflect and again you got to double click there and then vertical yes vertical axis and even if you want to do a preview it will show you this this is what happens so just say copy so when you copy you get another set of copy now what I'm going to do is now be very careful at this um, uh, lot, lots of lots of times you'll you'll miss out on on uh, moving all of them all together so what what you should generally do is find an anchor point just click on an anchor and and then just press shift so that you are perfectly moving to the left or you can just use the uh, the arrow buttons but that's how I do it what happens is let's say you you this was the selection and you I don't know you selected here oh it works or maybe you selected here it still works fine but sometimes what happens is you miss out sometimes just the sleeve carries off and then you miss out on that so the best way is to you know just click on an anchor and then just press shift and you can move around so so this is what I've done so that's how you get a copy now you have a choice you either want a center front line so if I move it with the arrow button you can have okay if you want you can just group this at the moment control G or command G on Mac yeah now you have it you have an option if you want to keep it keep a center front line here okay it's fine but what if okay and if you want an overlap you can always give an overlap so the overlap will somewhat look like this if you can see this blue line uh, this blue line is the center front of this uh, bodice now uh, if you want to let's say get rid of the center front and you want to blend in both of them together what you can do is you can now um, go to window pathfinder which is already open for me if this is ticked it is open for me so this is the pathfinder box now what pathfinder does is um, it has lots of options where you can tweak and you can play around with basic vectors for example um, let's say you have all of these shapes here okay so what you can do is you select all of them and when I press divide divide it's supposed to be unite so see what happens so it becomes a cloud now so that's so it's basically uniting all of all of the vectors which are which are overlapping all over each other it becomes one now let's say let's try the second function um, I want to let's say make a rectangle over it so what happens is it crops off the overlapping area like that so you have a flat cloud you know so similarly so you just you just select the two bodice areas okay at this moment we need to ungroup them so that only the two are selected and then just click on unite now what happened I missed out on the stitch line here most of the times you'll face this what has happened it is it's nothing it's just that you just have to send it to back so how do you send it to back just the way you do on PowerPoint arrange and send to back remember send to back not backwards send to back and then you get this here so um, and then maybe you can add just similarly you can add you can copy this bottom line control C control F and press I and you just click over it and you get your basic very very basic flat drawing maybe you can now try with an exercise 